Mount Everest is in the Himalaya, which is the biggest, highest mountain range in the world. It stretches across a large section of Asia. Mount Everest is the highest peak in that big mountain range. You get there by flying to an airport at about 11,000 feet. From there, you hike up all the way to Everest Base Camp at about 17 and a half thousand feet, and you look up at the summit and you can't believe how high it is above where you are. One of the big scientific questions this expedition is answering is how climate change in particular is happening in the high mountain regions. I'm in charge of the mapping team. The mapping team that I led was four people, two of us working uh, ground-based uh, data collection and two working from helicopter-based data collection. At Everest, we were using GIS to collect layers of information about the rock and snow and ice, information about the local weather and the longer-term climate, and how those elements of the high mountains were changing over time. and we're doing an incredible amount of scientific research on the highest glacier in the world, which is the Kumbu Glacier. The Kumbu Glacier is the primary route for ascending to the summit of Mount Everest from the south. One of the main reasons for the mapping work we're doing is to understand how quickly the glaciers are changing. Terrestrial LIDAR is mounted on a tripod. It just slowly rotates and captures information about the distance to every object that it sees. LiDAR is a mechanical device that sends out a beam of light that bounces off every object that it reaches. It is the collection of all these different points that allows you to create a three-dimensional model of the world around the LiDAR device the map you're looking at here is the actual image that I see as I'm collecting data. So each of the red dots is a LiDAR station, and the lab here will then take all that data, work in very high-end 3D software to stitch it together so that each station connects to the other station in a precise way, and all the photography can also be integrated with the 3D model. This clip may look like conventional video footage. In fact, it is a 3D model made from detailed LiDAR data combined with digital imagery. The hope that comes out of this expedition is, is a hope about human beings being able to adjust to life on this planet in a way that we aren't destroying the environment that we depend on. And if we can start working on addressing it now, it's just a lot more hopeful for a successful future.